In today's video I'm going to show you how to give basically any type of medication to a ferret. Um, I've got quite a few different types here and different things that you might want to use so I'm going to go through them and show you how you would use each one. So um, first off the hand sanitizer is just there to remind you that um, ferrets can catch uh, human uh, viruses and bacteria and infections of any kind like that. So um, even like the common cold, flu or anything worse. So um, especially if you're medicating a sick ferret, you need to be really careful that your hands um, are clean and that everything you're using is clean. Um, if necessary, they may need to be isolated from other ferrets um, if they have something contagious. So I'm going to start over here. Um, this is how to use a skin treatment. So um, if you have like a wound or a growth or something, you may get some liquid uh, to apply onto the skin. So the example I'm going to use is Hibby Scrub. And as you can see, this one um, is to be diluted with water, 10 parts water to one part of this sort of red liquid. Um, so if you're using this daily for a certain amount of time, then I would recommend mixing the solution up into a pump bottle or something like that. So you've always got it ready to go and you don't have to mess around with the quantities and the mixing every time you need to use it. Then you're going to need some cotton buds on sticks like this and so how I would use this is to just uh, apply one pump on the end of the cotton and then you would hold uh, the ferrets whichever part you're applying it to and um, with this medication in particular what you do is you hold that um, on the area for about a minute and take it off throw that away and then you want to have just a wet paper towel so make that like soaking wet with warm water and then just apply that so that you're not leaving an awful lot of this uh, on the skin because that's going to be quite harsh so you just rub that away there's no need to chuck them in the bath or anything because obviously they're going to take that you just rub that away wipe that away with a, a damp warm cloth um, with regard to how to get them to stay there while you're applying that and holding it on there for a minute or so, um, just basically do what you do as if you were claw clipping. Um, you lay them down, put a bit of paste on the belly and they'll just sort of lay there and lick it off, hopefully. <laughs> so that's the how I would apply a skin ointment. And now um, for oral medications, um, sometimes you will receive a liquid like this one and it will be in a dropper like that so the liquid medications uh, more often than not will not taste foul they'll have some sort of a sugar in them or something like that um, however the tablets um, are not likely to be flavoured in any way. So we've got some different methods that um, you might use to administer oral medications. I'm just going to get this one out the way. This is a pill popper or a pill giver. Um, how this works is that you put the pill in the end there, if I retract that, you put the pill in there, you basically put this down the throat and then when you pump the applicator see that green thing pushes the pill basically shoots it down the throat I'm gonna go ahead and say that I would not use this for a ferret I would use it for a cat or I would use it for a dog but the ferrets esophagus is just too small for me to want to put that down there so we're gonna get rid of this one so your tablets can come in two forms um, there's just your regular almost chalk like tablet like that that's like a compressed powder or there's a capsule like this and inside there is a lot of little granules uh, of the medicine so again you shouldn't be given something like this for a ferret because that is way too big for their little throats so what you would need to do is just open the capsule 
to reveal the little tiny uh, chalky beads that are inside. If you have a capsule like this, you must discuss the way of administering it with your vet. Ideally, you shouldn't get a capsule, you should get like a compressed powder tablet. But if you're going to use this method, you need to ensure that the reason it was not inside the capsule is that it needs to survive um, going through the stomach because normally that's the intention for putting medications in this tablet, in this capsule. It's that they want it to be contained until it reaches a certain point in the digestive system, but then the medication um, is released when that barrier is broken down. So if you release the pellets from the capsule, they're going to be metabolized a lot faster than they would if they were in there. So depending on the medication that you're giving, you must make sure with your vet whether they recommend that you use this method. So I'm going to show you what I do with uh, the regular tablet because otherwise I'm just going to get those pellets absolutely everywhere. What you want to do is basically, and so if you have your beads here, tiny little ones, it's the same thing. You want to have, I like to have my own saucer for doing um, Axel's medications um, and we've marked these two spoons as well so that we only use them for one thing so it's, it's more sanitary. So you just press between the two teaspoons to reveal a powder and then what I do is just get a cocktail stick to just scrape off any residue back into the pile. Because they are such small animals you want to make sure that they're getting the whole dose that they're supposed to have. So that's what I do with hard tablets, crush them into a powder and then you want to have something tasty to mix them with. So um, raw egg yolk is good um, or a, a healthy sort of paste like this, a treat paste, this is a salmon one. If you're giving um, medications in succession over several days, um, then obviously this is long lasting, um, <clears throat> but you can keep an egg yolk open uh, in the fridge um, so you can keep it out of the egg in something like this. What I do is just seal it tightly with some cling film over the top and that will keep in the fridge for about three days. So you've got longer than you might expect to use that up. And you basically just apply um, a small amount, as small as, as small as you can, um, unless you know that the medicine is going to be foul tasting. So what I would do is start off with giving them a larger amount of the treat food to that, to mix in and really disguise it. And then um, as they become more used to taking it, you can sort of decrease the amount of the treat food that you're putting on the spoon. But um, Ultimately, if they can see it as a reward, <laughs> then you're going to have a lot of a better time trying to get them to take this medication. So I'm not going to mix it up now because then that will mean that this will spoil for when I need to give it to him later. But um, so I would just take um, a, a small spoonful of the egg yolk and blob it on there. Or I would just squirt out a small amount of this paste um, onto there. And then I would mix it up with that cocktail stick and then I will literally just offer him this to the mouth and, um, and he will take it. If we were using the liquid medication, uh, you would mix it in with something in a similar fashion, um, but I would measure the amount of liquid with a syringe if you can, because the dropper that comes in here is, is not a very like rigorous measurement. If you need to, for example, measure that you're just getting one mil in there, then having some syringes like this handy uh, is a really good idea. So what I would do is draw up, say, my one mil of the liquid medication. I would squirt it onto the spoon or onto the dish. And then I would, again, put in a, a dollop of a treat food and then mix it all in and then just give it to him. And finally, when you're finished with everything, um, you want to make sure that all your equipment is clean and washed, uh, ready for the next use. 
So hopefully that was helpful. Um, if I didn't explain anything properly or you have any further questions, um, please feel free to ask in the comments. And always when using medications, obviously follow the advice of your vet. Do things how they say to do them. I'm just offering a little bit more of an insight into methods of giving tablets and liquids and skin treatments. If for example, you've just gone and got the medication and you completely forgot to ask how to do anything. So thanks for watching.